An injury on the gridiron may have actually saved a young man's life. A high school football player went down with a knee injury last September. But as Newswatch 16's Marshall Keeley shows us, it led to the discovery of something much more serious. Sophomore Mason Girton was playing linebacker for the Crestwood High School JV squad last September. A seemingly routine play would change his life forever. The running back was going to the outside on a run play, and then I just tackled him, and then I came down hard, and my knee felt like it just it started hurting real bad. It was just kind of the um, you know the, the common football injury rolled up on with the knee, and you really don't think much of it other than let's get him off the field, get him cared for by the trainer, and move on. Mason worked with the trainers for days, then weeks, but the pain wasn't going away. Chastity Gurton says her son was begging to see a doctor. After six weeks, Mason was still complaining, my knee is hurting, this is not working, um, there's something wrong. An MRI and a series of tests revealed the unthinkable, a tumor. And they called us in to tell us that Mason had a extraordinarily rare form of cancer called myxoid liposarcoma. I was in shock, shambles. I was just, I was just worried that this would ruin everything, that I wouldn't be able to do the things that I wanted to do in life. It was crushing um, being that I was as a cancer survivor, I tried to be strong for Mason and not break down. At that moment, I wanted to crumble. Early this month, Mason underwent surgery to remove the tumor. Leaving the operating room, he had just one thing on his mind. Where is my parents and when can I play football? Mason learns this week if he will need further treatment, but he's determined to push on. Local businesses, school districts, and the community have banded together in support. Mason received a standing ovation during Comets for a Cure night. Proceeds from the raffles, food sales, and tickets to the basketball games benefit Girton's family and give him a lift. It just makes my heart smile. It's making my son's spirits go up. It's, it's just been just an outpour of support, and we really can't thank everyone enough. Chastity says if it wasn't for that one play, they would have never known. I am so thankful for this injury and that this was found because like I said, the outlook, if we hadn't found this early, is not a good prognosis. Mason is recovering and looking forward to suiting up for Crestwood High again. Always keep your hopes up, keep, keep positive, because in the end there is there's a bright side in the tunnel. He hopes to run out of that tunnel and back onto the field. Marshall Keeley, Newswatch 16, Mountaintop.